for you guys there. Kind of forgot I was shooting a video. So today we're going to be going over basically my truck EDC. What do I carry personally and uh, in my truck? So uh, let me make this real quick and simple. Now, disclaimer, I don't keep anything with value in my truck because I don't want to get robbed. So I'm going to go over a few things that I keep inside that I think everybody should put these basic lab inside the truck. So uh, here we go. So first things first, guys, we're going to start in the front seat and then we're going to work around getting away to the back. Uh, yeah. First things first, guys. Um, me personally, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's a lot of people on the road who can't drive, okay? A lot of people who can't drive. So the first thing I went out and bought was, boom, dash cam. Now, I bought the dash cam for a few reasons. One of the reasons being, people like to hit your car and speed away, and when you're driving, there's things you just don't notice. So if somebody hits your car, you don't have a tag number or anything like that, then I guess you're screwed. So that's why I have a dash cam now. Let's move on to the other side of the car. Let's uh, see what's here. All right, guys, so in the back seat of the passenger side, first and foremost, I want to start off with a very important thing. Guys, if you live anywhere down south, I'm in Florida, you're going to need yourself a hat. Now, it doesn't have to be a big hat like mine, but you're going to need a hat because it gets really, really hot, guys, all right? So after that, I like to keep myself a vest. Um, just because you guys see this vest here doesn't mean it's always in my truck. I don't keep the vest always in my truck. Um, every now and then, I'll take it and throw it in just because I don't want to only get robbed at night when you're parking your vehicle because all it takes for somebody to walk past your mirror kind of like um hold on let me show you mm -hmm, where is his um, where's his vest oh that's right guys because boom I have five percent tent so you guys can't see it but I'm not gonna go on record saying I leave this in my in my vehicle I don't want to get robbed but this is a basic cheap vest I just keep in here um, it's nothing expensive, nothing to it's a steel place. That's pretty much it. Because you never know, guys. You really never know in today's age. So let's move on over here next to the that bottle right there. So this mosquito spray is what I keep in my truck. Only because I live in a place where mosquitoes attack constantly. Um, and having mosquito spray in your truck, your car, or anywhere where you might need it is very important, guys. Very important to have this. Behind my driver's seat, guys. Um, I keep a little organizer I got for free. It was a gift from somebody. I don't know where they got it from. I don't know what it cost. But uh, this is basically what I keep there now. On top of this, I keep a knife fat kick with the trauma gear. Um, I guess I can show you guys what's inside. So basically, this is what is inside of my little trauma kit here. Got a few packing wounds and gauze and band aids and uh, neosporin, tourniquet, gloves, that kind of stuff. And um, I basically just keep this just because. You never know, you can get hurt by something. Um, I do a lot of fishing, guys, so that is um, a big thing. Now, the next thing I have here is a little small first aid kit that I keep because, again, you never know. There have been times I've been fishing and you got a hook stuck in your hand and you're bleeding and I gotta take care of it, so that's what's next for the back seat. As I said, I keep it, guys, I keep it pretty simple. I don't like keeping expensive things in my truck. All right, guys, so I can't see to, hold on, this isn't right. Ah, there we go. Huh. Missed my glasses, guys. So, um, if you're wondering why we're back in the truck, it's because there's a creepo over there watching me record videos. I was back here, um, minding my own business alone, and just, this guy's over here watching me, so, okay, creepy. But, next thing I want to show you guys is what I keep in the front seat, but let's, uh, change locations because this guy's been awfully weird. Alright, here we are. New place. Let's finish the rest of this video. So, what I was telling you guys, um, since we're going through a current pandemic right now, guys, um, I like to keep some type of sanitizer in my car. Sanitizer is hard to come by, so, I mean, grab what you can. Also, sanitation wipe, because you never know what you need to wipe down. And I keep some spare mask in my truck, because, yeah, uh, COVID-19, guys, ruined up the whole, the, whole, uh, the whole year here. Now, in the back... Um, as I said before, I have the mosquito spray. I forgot to tell you guys, I keep toe straps here because I'm always towing something or I'm always up somewhere and somebody needs to help. Somebody needs help towing something. So that's just part of life. Once you guys buy a truck, um, everybody who knows you and everybody who wants to know you and everybody who doesn't know you needs your help with your uh, truck. So that's basically it, guys. Um, there's, really not, there's really not too much going on in my truck. There really isn't too much... Um, left to go over 
also hope you guys enjoyed the current EDC. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. So, I do carry concealed and I do carry spare mags in my truck, but I don't leave them in my truck. If I, if I need extra mags, I'll bring them with me and then keep them somewhere in my truck. So, that's, that's basically it, guys. Um, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe.